Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Recently I did a video on 5 easy sauna houses that you can do in Minecraft. I had a lot of people commenting saying they do dirt houses so I'm back today with another video on 5 ways that you can glorify your little dirt hut. So these are based around houses that people build into hills or they build in holes in the ground or they simply just get some dirt blocks and make a little hut. So that, that this is what these are for. So the first house we have here is the stereotypical little dirt hut that you see people build in Minecraft. I have simply made mine a little bit fancier by adding some cobblestone to the bottom. I've got a few windows on all the sides here. And then I've simply used oak wood to make a very simple roof. Obviously use whatever wood is closest to you. I'm just using oak because it's the most commonly found wood in Minecraft. Just make sure you've got that overhang here like I'm showing. It's very important otherwise your little, your little hut will look a bit cubey and not so much natural. So as you come in here I've got the exact same in each starter hut as I do in my other fancy starter houses. So I've got automatic meat cookers as you can see. I've got a furnaces. I've got anvils, craft tables. I've got my crops. And then I've also got my brewing potions, my infinite water source, and my enchantment table and ender chest. You simply can fit everything into a little hut like that, just build into the ground. It just requires a bit of digging and that's fine. I've also just built a fake little chimney here using cobblestone block and fencing and some cobwebs. Obviously if cobwebs are too hard, don't feel like you have to use them, you don't have to. So the next house I've built here is my modern take on a dirt house. I've simply used dark oak to do the roof and the front of the house. I've got the roof there slanting down towards the back. And then I'm using dirt for the walls and the walls inside the house, things like that. I've got my, the only difference with this house aside from my other side of houses is that, is that my crops are growing on the roof instead of in the house. Obviously you don't have to, you can just build another underground channel. I just thought it looked quite nice having my crops growing on top there. So as you come into the beginning of the house, you'll see I've got some privacy screens. We come in, it's the exact same as my oak house. There's my automatic meat cooker. I've got chests, my bed. Go downstairs, I've got more of the things that I have shown previously that you want in houses. And I've got crops below their underground. Oh wait, no, I forgot. I've got them on the roof. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, so this is just a very simple house you can do that's kind of modern. Obviously, don't have to use dark oak. Use whatever's near you and that will be fine. But yeah, so the next house we've got here is my hobbit type house. So obviously if you've seen uh, Lord of the Rings, you'll know that in Hobbiton they live in little houses in the hillsides. I've simply replicated that by building a, a little hill here. Obviously you just find a hill in Minecraft wherever you are. And then build this little round doorway here. I've used oak for the door and then I've used dark oak to accent it. Obviously use whatever woods you have available. I think the dark oak against the oak looks quite nice. The other thing you just want to make sure that you're doing with hobbit hole type houses is if you have seen Lord of the Rings you'll notice that the lands that the hobbit the houses are in it's very lush very green lots of flowers that's because it was filmed in New Zealand. If you've ever been to New Zealand you'll notice that they have lots of flowers it's very lush very green kind of like England. So you just want to make sure you decorate the top of your hill to kind of replicate that. Uh, use flowers that you would find typical in cottage gardens like I've shown in my cottage garden tutorial. I've just used one block high flowers. Obviously you can use two if you want. And then I've used oak leaves to make some vines over the entry. Just to make it look like the house was kind of lived in and they've grown like that. So the next house here is for people who build a hole in the ground. All you need to do is turn that hole into a little staircase like I've shown here and then build a underground base. So I've simply used cobblestone and andesite with a bit of grass mi mixed in patchy around the edges to make it look natural. I've used some spruce for my staircase and my door. You don't have to use spruce, use whatever is available and I've just got a little light here to mark it easily above ground. So you come down, you can see I've got some windows here. I think it looks quite nice since you can't have windows obviously in an underground house. 
So it's just a way to give a little a little window which looks a little bit nicer. So as you can see I've got everything I need in this house. The only thing I haven't got in this house that I do in my others is I don't have an enchantment table. You can easily fix put it into that space there. I just completely forgot about it. So yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just use whatever you like. You don't have to put everything in. You don't have to do the flooring in there. You can just leave it dirt, that's fine. Just use some wood for the outside and it looks quite nice. So my last house here is a dirt house that's based on the very famous Shrek house in the Shrek movies. So all I've done, I've found a hole like the Hobbiton house, I've just slanted it down uh, gradually on the left side here. And I've placed some cobblestone in there to look like pavers like you see in his house in the movie. I've got some oak around my entryway here. As you see in his house, he's kind of got wood panelling on one side and a window in the dirt on the other side. And then I've built a very simple tree stump on, on top, just out of some oak uh, logs there. The inside I have used the shovel again, the shovel, and I've made the path uh, block. I think it looks quite nice on the inside of the house because it kind of looks like a compacted dirt block. Like someone's been walking over it so much and it's now completely compacted. And now it's that very hard soil that you see on walkways when you're walking around reserves and things like that. I think the pathway block kind of gives that look, so it looks quite nice in a house that's like a Shrek house, because obviously walking around in a house you have a lot of foot track it, traffic. The crown would become very compacted and that's just what I've tried to achieve there with the pathway block. Just make sure on top of his house that you're using a lot of grass to give it that lush bushy look that you see on his. Probably the best that you can do in Minecraft. But yeah. So thank you for watching this tutorial on five ways to fancy up your little dirt hut. I've used three different ideas here. Your holes in the ground, your simple dirt huts, and obviously for building into hillsides or cliff sides. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have anything that you would like me to build, please comment below and give me some suggestions. If you have any feedback for me as well, that would be great. I'm more than welcome to have as much feedback as I can. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.